There we go. Never didn't have it. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES10YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing exceptionally well today. We are looking at Mono Green Stompy. Uh, now before we talk about this deck list, two things. First and foremost, if you're not already, please subscribe. It would really mean a lot. Every little bit helps. Uh, and so if you enjoy the video, if you like what we are doing here at It Resolves, please feel free to subscribe. It really would mean a lot. Uh, but second, this deck was actually put together by Hello Good Game. This was not our original deck list. Now, most everything up until this point has been our original deck list, uh, but I wanted to make sure that we credit whoever created the lists here. So uh, Hello Good Game did put this list together, and it's a rare, my OCD loves it, uh, because it's a rare occasion where we've got uh, stacks of two basically all the way through. So. Uh, being mono green stompy the the goal of this list is very very straightforward We're just trying to punch through for as much damage as possible with that in mind We have things like unnatural growth. We've got Renin seven that can spit out that big big token, which is fantastic uh, We've got things like old growth dryad werewolf pack leader gonna help us draw some cards We've got ranger class throwing some counters around whoops uh, Some new cards here. We've got cemetery prowler a three four for three extraordinarily good value for three mana it's got vigilance it exiles cards and it cheapens up our own which is kind of amazing uh another really good value one drop here a two one for one ascendant pack leader fantastic hopefully going to get some counters throughout the game as well a Seekus chariot does help us uh copy this these uh tokens by the way i did forget to mention that uh and of course, we've got Blizzard Brawl to help fight some stuff off. One of the newest cards here, uh, Ovenwald Oddity, uh, and on the backside, the Behemoth. This card is ridiculous. It's a 4-4 for 4, 4, 4 with Trample and Haste that you can transform into an 8-8 eight, eight with Trample and Haste and gives all your other creatures plus 1, plus 1, and Trample and Haste. That seems pretty good to me, not gonna lie. Uh, so uh, this is an interesting one, certainly a power, a very, very powerful deck uh, and one that we're gonna give a shot today. So let's see what we can do with it, guys. Again, hello, good game. Thank you so much for putting this together. Let's see what we can do with it. All right, guys, here we are for game number one, and this is just about the perfect hand. I mean, we've got a one into two into three uh, with the Blizzard Blizzard Brawl backup here to deal with any of the early game creatures. So, I mean, let's go for it. We're gonna do it. Hopefully have a good time with it. I have seen quite a bit of mono green, so the likelihood of us uh, running into a mirror match isn't that unlikely, actually. Uh, but we'll see what we've got there. Crimson Vow is tremendously interesting in my view. I think there's a lot of stuff that has been substantially pushed in this set. Uh, and so seeing where everything lands in like the next week or two, I think is going to be tremendously exciting. Uh, I'm really, really excited about that. So we'll see what happens. Uh, worth noting, um, we can exile our own creature card. Wow, just multiple Blizzard Brawls. Um, <laughs> uh, we can exile our own creature from the graveyard, which I think we will do here. Uh, and this just cheapens up all of our other creatures. So, uh, again, Cemetery Prowler, one of the best value cards in my view. They printed some really pushed things, uh, over the, in this set, in my opinion. Um, now, obviously... Some others may disagree, that's fine, but my goodness, is this a an interesting one. Perfect, that's going to allow us to draw a card here. Let's go ahead and take the, uh, the Blood Chief's Thirst. I think that's fine. And we could have activated this, but I think what I'd rather do is go ahead and do this, uh, and then invest a little bit of mana in pumping that up. Uh, and hopefully, I mean, we're seeing things like the Blood Chief's Thirst here, so we're expecting that they're going to have some more point-and-click removal which is kind of okay. It's not great for us, but we're spreading things out enough where that should be okay. And chances are they don't have a ton that they can do, uh, given they've only got three mana here. So, well, I mean, we'll see. If they play a creature, we obviously, uh, theoretically, might be able to just fight it off. We'll see, but there we go. That quick win. Hello, good game. Your deck is amazing. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's jump into game two. 
All right, guys, here we are for game number two. This is a nice two drop into three drop here. Uh, now, this isn't as efficient, obviously, as the first hand, but I think this is worthwhile. Ranger class provides us with a very, very nice little mana sink as well. So uh, even if we can't play these things like right away, uh, I think it's OK. We are going to go for the mana efficient play of the Ranger class over just playing the pack leader. Uh, now, chances are they may have, I don't know, fading, whatever it is. They could bounce this or something, but we'll see. Uh, this could also just be spirits, uh, in which case, theoretically, we can outpace them. Now, that's not a guarantee. <laughs> uh, never will that ever be a guarantee, but because uh, spirits did get such a big buff. Um, but that is certainly a possibility. Um, I don't know 100% what the right play is here. Uh, let's do this. We're just going to set ourselves up a little bit here. Um do the best we can we'll attack in here with the 2-2 which should get the counter now again they could bounce it they've they've i'm sure got some amount of interaction given that they are blue white um that is not unreasonable at all there's the fading hope sure uh and this was okay for us only because i mean it's very clearly not great but what that'll what that tells us is one we know now that they've got those kinds of bounce spells but two uh us investing in a card like this uh, that's going to make all of the rest of our plays much better uh, is probably a good idea. Um, importantly, we can start spreading some things out here, though, as well, which would be nice. So let's play the old growth troll. Uh, let's attack in. This is going to get a counter. Uh, chances are they're not going to want to block. Cool. Um, this is going to slow us down a little bit here. It looks like this might be a bit of a prison style list, uh, which is going to be a little frustrating, but that's fine. Uh, all right, I'm going to take that hit. Um, yeah, let's do this. So let's try and fight this off here. Let's see if this actually works. I, I'm very, I, I'm very much of the opinion it probably won't. Yep, that's fine. Uh, but at least now we know. Uh, and again, they are using these fading hopes. They, they don't have, I'm sure, too many left. So uh, let's go ahead and attack in once more. This is just going to get stronger, and they don't have blue mana up. So they do have to be a little bit cautious of this. Uh, and then I think we just easily play out the pack where or, or the werewolf pack leader, uh, hoping that at least one of these sticks around. Oh, this did provide blue. I'm dumb. My bad. Uh, I didn't even recognize it because of the, the borderless, but yes, they did have blue. That's fine. Uh, not great for us, but it's not the end of the world again, so that's cool. Get in for three. That's fine. All right. Uh, let's see. I think first things first, we are going to attack in here. Uh, now, they could trade for the adversary if they would like, uh, which is kind of okay by me. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and play that old growth troll out now. And now, I mean, hopefully we're running them down on resources. What we truthfully need more than anything is just a land. <laughs> uh, if we can get a land, we're in much better shape here um, because then we can start getting towards on some of these bigger spells. Now, they are pushing towards uh, dealing a lot more for us, which is kind of a problem. Uh, let's attack. Again, going to do our best to just keep trading off. Uh, yep. This is a bit of an odd looking uh, trample screen, but I mean, it does make sense. Uh, let's throw that there. Uh, we'll throw this out. And we'll throw the pack leader out. Uh, this is just going to hopefully, again, spread things out a little bit. If they're not drawing a ton, they do have the cave, but that's it. Uh, we desperately need something we can do here. Um, we're going to attack in with both, and we're going to put the counter here. Uh, that's going to allow both of these to technically kill, but... Ah! All right. We, I mean, we got to let all this happen. I think they just kind of got us here. Unfortunately, we were stuck on lands, so we really didn't have much we could do. Yep. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. There's the land we need. <laughs> uh, so they get to attack in here for a pretty solid amount. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, they get to win. 
Hey, fair enough. They uh, they got us fair and square here. That was a really nice little uh, sequence from the uh, opponent there. That was really cool. Well done. All right, let's move on to game three. All right, guys, here we are for our third game. Uh, and this is just about perfect. Again, we've got a nice one into two. Hopefully we can get uh, either an extra land or a three drop or both uh, by the time we need to hit some of these. So let's definitely go for it. Let's see what we can do. Uh, so far, I'm very well, there's the land. I've, I'm very much enjoying this mono green list. It feels like it's very well put together in terms of the efficiency of it. Uh, and so I do like that quite a bit. Obviously, that last hand or that last game, we just really didn't have very much going for us. And that's OK. It happens. There's a blizzard brawl. Go ahead and get that ranger class down now. Uh, and this is nice because, again, it's going to give us an opportunity to uh, ooh, uh, to hopefully make some stuff happen here. So. Uh, Let's do this. Um, let's attack in. Hopefully they just block. And if they don't, actually, either way, this is great for us. So, OK. Uh, now the question is, do we want to kill this 3-3? Three, three? I think against a Righteous Valkyrie, I think it's worth it. Um, that Righteous Valkyrie is terrifying. Oh, it get, excuse me. Of course, it gets indestructible. Pardon me. Uh, if we have three or more snow permanents, I always forget that. All right. Um, I think we just play this out, uh, attacking in with both, putting a counter here. So now they're both very, very good threats. Um, and this isn't great for us because that Righteous Valkyrie can certainly do a good job of bringing them back into this game at some point here. But uh, the hope, at least, is that they're not really able to uh, and that we can deal enough damage that that's not even a problem. Uh, all right. Fantastic. Let's pack leader, or yeah, pack leader first. Let's do this. It's gonna give us multiple creatures and power this up a little bit. Uh, and all too happy to attack in here. I'm gonna give it on the uh, the hate or the the trampler. Excuse me. Got him down to six. Uh, now again, this is a life gain deck. We have to be very cautious of that. But okay. That's okay. That doesn't. That's not gonna bother me too much. Um, there we go. We got the win. That was super, super quick. What? Wow. That was fantastic. All right. Let's jump into a game four. We're going through these very, very quickly. All right, guys. Here we are for our next game. Uh, this is not a great hand. I would suggest. Um, now we do have a fairly even distribution of spells in our deck that we could draw something lower down on the uh, the mana chain. I'm going to try and mulligan here. Uh, unfortunately, this isn't much better, um, but I do think we just have to keep. Let's. Hmm. Yeah, I think we just get rid of the more expensive spell here uh, and we'll see what happens. I don't have high hopes with this. Uh, actually, maybe it was the old growth troll, given that it was three green and we don't just guarantee that. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, cool. I mean, we just have to play it out and hope for the best. <laughs> Uh, if we get any creature, uh, like two drop creature or less, actually, we can Blizzard Brawl away some of these things and just clear a path. Um, if we get a green source, we can Old Growth Troll. Unfortunately, we didn't do either of those. So let's just throw the Cemetery Prowler out. Obviously, nothing to exile, but that's OK. Uh, I still think that's a I mean, obviously, it's a very good play regardless. Um, we'll see what we can do. All right. We sack it. Uh, unfortunately, they're pinging away. Uh, there's another Prowler. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of the Prowler in our graveyard. That's going to cheapen up this Prowler. So next turn, um, we might be able to kind of double up here. It depends because, again, we don't have all the green mana we need. Uh, but it's the best we can do. Um, also, guys, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who's been watching uh, our gameplay over the last day or two, we've done a lot of gameplay over the last day or two uh, since the set's release. Actually, last since Thursday. Um, and I really appreciate it. You guys have really, really shown up in mass uh, to, to provide us with some awesome, awesome support. So I can't thank you all enough. It really does mean a lot to me. Uh, and thank you. You're amazing. You're very amazing. Um, I'm just going to throw this at him. And we're just going to attack him with everything. Uh, let's exile 
really and truly nothing else is going to matter that much. So I guess we'll just exile this. Again, that just cheapens up everything creature-wise for us. So they can really, really go crazy and kill this Prowler. <laughs> uh, which is fine if they want to do that. That's a... That's perfectly fine. So they're going to double up and kill the Prowler. That's fine. Uh, very, I mean, reasonable play for sure, but I wouldn't suggest that's a great play. All right. Cool. Um... Hmm. I don't even think we have to do that, do we? Uh, let's... Oh, we do. Whoops. Uh, this is not an instant either. All right, well, we're just gonna take the medicine. We kind of messed up there. They can double block this, but we will kill this at least still. Ooh, that was a mistake. Uh, we should have fought one of those off. I was like, yeah, that's the perfect play, and then just didn't do any of it. Uh, my, my bad. Entirely my fault. Uh, let's get the Prowler online. Uh, again, just doing the best we can to, uh, to keep ourselves moving forward here. That was a bit of a mistake. We could have kept that, uh, oddity around. All right. This is a, uh, interesting fight here, actually. Um. Let's get the pack leader down. Uh. I really wish we could fight. I, I wish we just had another green source, honestly, but uh, we just don't. So it is what it is. All right. Yep. Yep. Um, interesting. OK, so we can double brawl. If we'd like we do have three snow permanents, so it would gain indestructible. Let's do this. Oh, that is going to put a counter on the uh, Spider Queen. Uh, yeah. Just gonna fight these all off here. Um, I really wish we could power it up just one more time so we could give it, uh, that extra boost, but we can't. Um, I think we have to get rid of Lily. Lily is terrifying. Uh, and unfortunately we just don't have much else we can do, so, uh, might as well get rid of that. Um, Oh, I just noticed that the camera was super blurry. It was auto-focusing on the mic. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, all right. I mean, they're doing a lot, uh, but they still have only dealt four damage to us. So there's some amount of positive in that. Um, they're playing a lot of little stuff, uh, which is cool. Interesting. All right, so we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to try and kill this. Chances are it won't land. They just block with something. That's fine. But we're getting a counter on the pack leader, which is important. So they will get to learn here. I assume they just kind of pick up like a mascot exhibition. No. Necrotic fumes. OK, that's kind of fine. Um, they take out the pack leader. Pack leader is really important for us, to be honest, but they're, we gotta get, I mean, they're gonna kill it. There's no, there's no way around that, but, oh, okay, rude. Um, there's Lily back. Think we are basically gonna die, um, but that's okay. They have the fumes for any future stuff that we play, like, I'm thinking we're pretty dead here. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Do we have... We don't, I don't believe. There's no enchantments in here, is there? No. Okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna do this. It may not seem like a lot, but we're going to do the best we can uh, to to push through here. I think, OK, yeah, they've got as much removal as they want. Um, there's very little chance we could win this. I guess there's still kind of there's not a chance. Guys, I think we may concede. Um, we know they've got the fumes. They're drawing extra cards. Yeah, I'm just going to concede. 
there's no reason to keep that one going unfortunately they just had it we'll do one final game uh that was i think the longest game and it wasn't that long so we'll do one more all right guys here we are this will probably be our last game and we'll keep this it's not an amazing hand but it does allow us to uh take advantage of these ranger classes a little bit so we'll give it a good shot uh against go wonder if that's how they spell it on the uh the pokemon whatever it is show you know what i'm talking about journeys is it journeys you know what i mean you guys watch pokemon uh anyway <laughs> all right uh that's interesting all right let's throw this out there first though uh and i think we'll end up before we just throw that prowler out we'll see what they do but ah <laughs> That's terrifying. Um, okay. Let's do this. Uh, let's do this. And I am going to attack here because this does want, we do want it to get a counter. Um, so any way we can get a counter on it, they obviously can just block it with the egg, but that's not really the point. Um, hopefully that got it out of range of like a two, two damage burn spell. May not have, but this is going to help us kind of rank up and get out of the range where this can kill it later on. All right. That's fine. Uh, it's not the end of the world, so that's cool. Let's do this. Uh, let's do this. We're going to pile on with this as much as we can here. Get that going. Uh, we'll attack. That's going to really level this thing up. Uh, and so now we're at the point where if we can get the oddity down and flipped, everything has haste, which means any creature that comes down can immediately attack, get some counters on it, and get it out of burn range. Um, Frostbite is going to be able to kill the pack leader if they've got it, but they do kind of have to deal with it, like, soon. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to keep piling counters on it, and in that case, we're, we're pretty golden. So... We'll see. I'm not positive, but we're going to do the best we can. Uh, the Smoldering Egg decks are scary. Uh, now, it does take a lot to get them where they need to be, but, like, it's very scary, <laughs> in my opinion. All right. Go, opponent. You can do it. I believe in you. They, they do run quite a bit of burn, so I'm expecting they can kill the pack leader here. Um... Which is fine. I mean, again, it's not great for us, but it's not the end of the world. We've got the oddity, so. Yep. Uh, wow, we've got two oddities. Um, great. I'm going to attack with both, and I'm going to put the counter on the wolf here. They're obviously going to want to kill the oddity before they kill the wolf. Um, but they're taking a lot of damage to do all of this. Um, which is great. Uh, and hopefully, I mean, if we draw a lamb, we just unnatural strength, and then we've got... There we go. Never didn't have it. Look at this. All right, well, let's chat about mono green. All right, guys, so again, I just want to reiterate, this deck was put together by Hello Good Game, not my own version of the list. I think I might do some things differently if I was creating it for myself, but regardless, that worked out pretty well. I mean, Mono Green got a lot of good stuff out of this new set, so it's kind of nice to see it working like that. Uh, I'm very happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, again, thank you to everybody who has been watching our gameplay. We've been putting a lot up for you guys, uh, just to make sure that we're kind of capitalizing on the new set, of course. Uh, uh, please, again, if you're not already, subscribe. We really would appreciate it. Recommend a deck. Call me out on all my terrible plays because there's always some some play that I do incorrectly, which is fine too. But I just want to say again, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Have a fantastic day, guys. We'll see you again very soon.